Kia ora. Welcome to National Archives of New Zealand. Te pare tohu tuhi tuhinga o Aotearoa. This video is an introductory guide to the reference service provided at the Head Office of National Archives in Wellington. It outlines the steps to follow to find the information you are seeking. National Archives is situated in the Government Centre of Wellington. Parliament buildings, the National Library and the historic Old St Paul's building are all within close proximity. Originally established in 1926 as the Dominion Archives, National Archives acquired its present name with the passing of the first Archives Act in 1957. Its role is to collect, preserve and make available the record of government in this country, to be the memory of government. This memory stretches back to before 1840, when the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi marked the beginning of British government in New Zealand. National Archives holdings originate from every government department and exist in a variety of formats. These range from textual paper documents such as files, loose papers and volumes, to maps, plans, films, artworks, photographs, and motion pictures. Within these holdings are the records of decisions made by government officials, why they were made, how they were set in place, and how they affected the people in this country. Staff who work with the archives are called archivists and are available to help you in your research or answer any of your queries. When you arrive at National Archives, you should first make your way to the ground floor reception counter. Ramp access is available to the right of the main stairs. You will need to deposit all your bags in one of the self-service lockers located past the lifts. Locker keys are available from the receptionist. You will need to pay a small deposit, which will be refunded when the key is returned. Smoking is not permitted anywhere in the building. Food and drink can only be consumed in the cafe located in the entrance foyer. You may take essential items for note-taking with you into the reference area. Pencils only, please. The reference area is opposite the lockers. When you first arrive, whether you are making your first visit or have visited before, you should always sign the visitor's register. If this is your first visit to the National Archives in Wellington, the next step is to register as a reader. The registration process takes only a few minutes and is free to all New Zealanders. The duty archivist will give you an information pack and an application form for a reader's card. The information pack contains guidelines about the conditions for using the reference service, information about how our services operate, and general information about what National Archives does. The pack is yours to keep. The pack also contains an important section on emergency procedures. Be sure to read it. If an emergency occurs during your visit, please follow the directions given by our staff. Before signing your application form, you'll be asked to read the reading room regulations. These are a condensed version of the contents of the information pack. When you sign the application form, you're agreeing to abide by these regulations. The archivist who registers you will type the details from the form into the computer. While they're doing this, you may wish to read the contents of the information pack in more detail. You'll be asked to type a password into the computer yourself. Along with your reader card number, this password gives you access to the public computer terminals. Your password is like a bank account PIN number. It prevents any other reader from ordering archives under your name. Before your card is issued, you'll be asked to show identification. Your reader card has your registration number written on it. The registration must be renewed every year, and you'll be asked to ensure your details are up to date before renewal takes place. Once the registration process is complete and you have been issued with your reader card, you are ready to begin your research. 
To order archives, you will need to find the appropriate archives references. The archivists will show you how to use the finding aids relevant to your research topic. The finding aids are found either in binders, which contain descriptions and lists, or in card catalogues, which contain indexes, primarily for genealogical searching. Summary brochures are available. It does take a little while to understand how to search through the finding aids with confidence. Some archives also serve as finding aids, in particular the correspondence indexes and registers, mainly from the 19th century, housed in the register room. The register room is open to the public. The entrance is in the reference area. Official publications, including appendices to the Journal of the House of Representatives, New Zealand Gazettes and Provincial Gazettes are also found in the register room. The duty archivist can explain to you how to use the volumes in the register room to find archives references and can show you which volumes are most likely to contain information on your research topic. When you find a reference to an archive you wish to see, make a note of the reference. Once you've noted down the archive's references, you're ready to order them through the public computer terminals located in the main reading room. A leaflet containing instructions is available by the terminals. The duty archivist can also show you how to use the computerized request system. The instructions on the computer screen will ask you to type in your reader card number and then your password and will then ask you to type in the archive's reference divided up into its different parts agency, series and or accession number, item reference. It will also allow you to type in an item description. This information can assist the retrieval staff to find the correct document more quickly. Once you've typed in the reference the computer assigns your request a unique production request number. Write down this number the computer records when the item has been found, issued, or returned. You can ask duty archivists about the progress of your request at any stage. Once you have entered a request into the computer, production slips are printed out in the reference service area. Archivists check these to make sure the references are in the correct format. If there is any problem with the request at this stage, it will be drawn to your attention. There is a limit to the number of requests you can make at any one time. If your research topic and deadline make this limit insufficient and you would like it raised, please talk to the head of reference. Some items are only available on microfilm or as photocopied reproductions. If your request is identified by the archivists as being one of these items, they will tell you. Items that are available on microfilm or as a photocopied reproduction include archives that are very popular and used often by researchers and archives that are fragile. Some of these are available on a self-help basis in the main reading room. A batching system operates for the retrieval of archives from the stack areas. Batch closure times are shown on the computer screen when you make your requests. Requests are held until the next batch closure time and are collected by the retrieval staff at the close-off time. Requested archives are then retrieved from the stacks. We're a growth industry. Each year we add between 2,000 and 3,000 linear meters to our holdings in Wellington. The stack areas are vast. That's why there's a time delay between when you make your requests and when the archives are ready for you to read. Once your archives have been located in the stack area, they're brought to our held out area. Your reader card number is added to the electronic display screen. You'll be able to see your number appear on one of the screens in the reference area. Your reader card number remains on the screen while you have archives held for you. Your number may also appear if there's a problem with your request. Archives are held for up to a week under your name. While you are waiting for your archives to be issued, you can continue to search through the finding aids for further archives references. Alternatively, you may wish to visit the Constitution Room. 
view National Archive's other exhibition or display spaces, or take a break in the cafe. Guided group tours of National Archives are also available by arrangement. Talk to the duty archivist if you're interested. In the Constitution Room, the Treaty of Waitangi, Te Tiriti o Waitangi, is on permanent display. Its predecessor, the Declaration of Independence, Te Whakapūtanga o Te Rangatiratanga o Ngā Rangatira o Te Tokerai, and other constitutional documents are also displayed. Waifaka Noa is available at the door. The other exhibition and display spaces highlight National Archives holdings. There are also occasionally displays from National Archives regional offices and travelling exhibitions from other organisations. You may wish to take a self-guided tour of the major contemporary New Zealand artworks on display. A brochure is available. National Archives holdings include a large number of films. Some of these are available for viewing on video in the reading room. A selection of videos from our film holdings is also continuously screened in the foyer near the reception counter. If you're researching your family tree, you may wish to purchase a copy of Family History at National Archives to assist you with your search. There are other items for sale as souvenirs of your visit to National Archives. The receptionist will be able to direct you to the display cases containing examples of these items. National Archives has also produced a number of leaflets as guides to specific parts of its holdings. For example, the photographic and cartographic archives. You may wish to make use of the other research institutions in the area. The National Library, including the Alexander Turnbull Library, is one block away on the corner of Molesworth and Aitken Streets. When your reader card number appears, please come to the reference desk. Archives will be brought from the held out area and issued to you. You will be issued with a limited number of items at a time and asked to read them in one of the reading rooms. When you have finished reading those items, return them to the designated returns area near the entrance to the main reading room. You may then ask for more items to be brought to you. You may be asked to use the secure reading room. This may be because you are being issued with fragile items, boxes or folders containing loose papers, or restricted items that you have permission to see. The secure reading room is the smaller and quieter of our two research areas. Carols with PowerPoints are available in the main reading room and the secure reading room for the convenience of those using laptops. Other PowerPoints are located throughout the reference area if you're consulting large format items. Should you wish to use a personal computer or tape recorder, please check with the archivist on duty. Some special format archives are available for viewing by appointment only. You'll be informed if this is the case with any of your requested items. A meeting room is available if you're working with others as a group and need to discuss your research or examine an archive together. This room should also be used if you wish to use a tape recorder. If you'd like to reserve this room, please talk to the duty archivist. Please remember that the documents issued to you are unique and irreplaceable. In many cases, they have already survived for a great number of years. Archives can be easily damaged, which is why we ask everyone to treat them with the greatest of care to ensure they survive for future generations. If you wish to order photocopies from any documents, you will need to complete an order form and pay the necessary fee in advance. The duty archivist can assist you to calculate the correct amount. Some documents cannot be photocopied due to their fragile condition, size or format. Archives cannot be taken out of the reference area. Security monitoring systems are in place throughout the building. These ensure the protection of the archives and archive staff. If you wish to reuse archives, you may have them held out for you. You'll need to fill in held out slips and return them along with the items. Items held out are kept for one week before they're reshelved. When you leave at the end of each visit, check that you have returned all archives, collect all your working materials, and sign out in the visitor's register. To recap, deposit your bags, sign visitor's register, register as a reader, 
Locate archives references. Key in your requests. When your reader card number is displayed, call at the reference desk and collect archives. Consult archives in the reading room. Return archives. Sign out. There is a wealth of material here at National Archives. If you have difficulty finding your way around or understanding our systems, please ask. We're here to help. We wish you success with your search and hope you enjoy your visit. Ka kite anō.